here we go. Thank you, Pete. And that's a lot of pressure because I haven't got my blob with me today, um, which was really nice because actually I hid behind the blob. Um, but if none of you know me, I'm Kelly. I've been in the website industry for 25 years. So pretty long time, left school really early, uh, didn't go through GCSEs and finished them and went straight into web design. So I've gone from web design into search engine optimization in the last 10 years. So I know a lot about websites. Started my own business at 19 and then just traveled a lot in my 30s. And that's how I ended up being in France, uh, snowboarding and uh, biking and hiking and stuff like that. Um, I know Rolf is really jealous. <laughs> um, <laughs> So that is me and that is uh, what I what I do. So I'm teaching people about SEO and I just wanted to get out there that there are so many signals um, that you can give out to search engines that are, uh, from your website. So as website owners, our jobs are to just make sure we send those positive signals straight out to the search engines. And it's a bit of a handshake, I think, a little bit like Pete's one-to-ones, a little bit like networking. You're saying, hey, search engines, I am here and this is my website and I'm doing a really good job for you to understand. So um, let's see if I can do the slides at the same time. <laughs> uh, so how do websites, uh, how do search engines see our websites? So a crawler or what we call a spider. It's also called a bot sometimes. Um, it's, it's just a computer program and it's operated by the search engines. They send it out and it trawls the code of our website. So it just tries to find the best content to index. And that just means that they, uh, when, they when we say index, it just means that they're listing that content on the search engine. So there are basics that we need to remember and that will help the search engines to understand and regularly come back and crawl our websites. So how do we keep the search engines happy? So I've got three ways for you to make a start. Tactic one, we're looking at URLs, H1s, and meta tags. And don't panic because I'm going to explain what they are if you're not fully, <laughs> if you're not that technical. Okay. So a URL is basically your page name. Uh, in WordPress, it's called a slug or a permalink quite often. And you find that URL in the address bar. And you can see it on my screen now. So I'm pointing at the address bar. And that is your URL. So what I'm, I'm not going to advise today is for you to change those kind of things yet. You need to speak to an expert if you are going to change that kind of thing. But the URL and the heading one, which is the title of the page, and the very first thing that someone will read on your page um, oh, and then the meta tag is a snippet of code behind the page. Okay, so that's the most technical I'm going to get today. Um, WordPress plugins and Squarespace and things like that will um, change the meta tags for you. And they'll sometimes call them SEO titles or SEO descriptions. So the point is, is that those three things need to correspond on every single page or post that you have on your website. So if you've chosen a title for a web page or a blog post, doesn't matter which, because they're, they're the same kind of thing, that title needs to be used in the URL. It needs to be used as the heading one, which is also known as the title, the first thing people see, and then within those SEO descriptions. So never leave out the heading one never leave out the meta tags and never and always have what we call a pretty URL, which is legible. It's readable for humans. That is tip number one, have those align. Tip number, tactic number two, <laughs> links, links, links. 
So the search engine crawlers that I spoke about, they just love links. And it's the way they crawl around the web and they find other websites to crawl and they find other pages. Now, if you as the website owner provide links, you are rewarded. And we are rewarded if we link in two different ways, internally, and that means you go, you're in, internally linking throughout your own website or externally. And that is when you're linking out to other helpful websites. And that needs to be within your industry. So anytime a link is created, it must help the visitor to carry on their journey and basically investigate that topic that they, the reason they came to your website in the first place, they need to um, have the ability to continue. So using internal linking, we encourage people around the website and the crawlers, and then external links have even more power, even more sort of gold stars when it comes to SEO. So we can have, as I say, links that go from one, our website to another, that's outbound. And we can also have backlinks uh, from, from, the web, from another website into ours, and that's inbound. So we won't talk about inbound links today because you can't change them very easily. What we're gonna talk about is outbound, internal links around the website and outbound links. And you can change these on your website. So when you add links to pages, of po pages or posts, it builds a network for Google and a, a network of great information which Google is trying to build for a visitor. So when Google provides good results to their people, people use Google and that's why they want these, this great network. So when you create content, be very generous with those links. Link over to valuable pages that you've maybe got resources from and help the spider to navigate around your website. So the bot, the, the crawler. Link to the resources and ex external web pages that will interest your visitor. So when you um, include links within your website, you display a certain expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. And this is known as EAT or EAT. And when the website is trusted, Google ranks the website higher and higher. So all links need to be very relevant to the topic that the, the blog post or page is about. And don't, so don't add random ones because that can get very spammy. All right. So tactic number three, last but not least, use media. And it's really cool to have Hugo in the room because obviously he's doing lots of video. So by media, I mean images and I mean video. They help your website to rank. They, they can also rank independently, um, but at, Google will rank images on Google Images. Don't know if you've ever been over to Google Images, but they, they will rank independently. And video is produced on other, search engines like YouTube and Vimeo will also rank on Google for specific queries that people write in every day. So let's just talk about images. Because humans are very visual, the uh, images will spark emotion for us and it will attract attention. So images will draw us into a web page. And because of this, if your website has appealing images, there's much more chance of someone clicking on your website. Now, search engines know this, so they expect at least one image on every page or post that you have on your domain name on your website. Optimize the image by reducing the size. Don't put them straight off your camera and optimize them by reducing the colors so that they download quickly. And I have a 
a video on image optimization if you guys want to see it I can stick it into the chat now videos they Google shows a thumbnail for a video for about 25 percent of all searches that happen online so video when you embed them onto your blog posts or pages they improve search engine optimization efforts so add them use them videos will keep a person on a website longer and help them to engage so when you're showing yourself on camera you know that you're getting your personality out there people work with people and videos help people to get to know like and trust you and I know Pete and Sarah will approve of that because that's what we say in this networking group, no like and trust. Okay. So do come along. I'm going to stick my blogging workshop that's on next week into the chat. It's on Tuesday and I teach you how to do all these kind of things within um, a blog or a website. So depending on which you want to do. Thank you for having me. Welcome, Yay. well done. Right, let me just hit stop. Here we go.